All right, guys, last video for today. We're going to finish up our notes. Um, now we're going to talk about better buy, which is going to use unit rate to help us figure out, well, whose deal is better? Um, we have four different problems to work through, and then you guys have some practice after this, and then you're done. So um, we're looking at two different types of cheeses here, and if we weren't worried about the brand, we just want to make sure we're getting the most for our money, then we're going to need to use better buy um, and unit rate to help us figure out whose deal is better. So just like we did in our unit rate, we're going to need to set up our rate to begin with so we can find the unit rate um, and compare our unit rates for the better price. Because right now we have a problem. We have um, 10 slices for a little less money. And then here's like a little bit more money, but you get more as well. So sometimes it's hard to tell well, which one's better? Because this one I pay less, but I get a little less. This one I pay more, but I get more. So to really compare, we need to use unit rate. Now money is, when we're comparing unit rate of different items like food or money, you know, we're trying to figure out the cheapest, cheapest option. Money is always going to go on the top of your rate, okay? Because that's what we're going to be dividing up by whatever our, our um, unit is down here, 10, This in this case it's 10 slices of cheese. Because we want to figure out how, well, how much does one slice cost, so we can compare one slice here to one slice over here. So over here we're going to do the same thing. We want money on top, and we'll put the slices on the bottom. All right, now to find out how much does it cost for one slice, we're just going to divide. Okay, so we're going to take the $2.48 and divide it by 10. Type that into your calculator. I actually want a little bit more space, so I'm going to erase this here. All right, so in my calculator, when I type in $2.48, divided by 10, I get, this is what my calculator says. It says 0 0.248. Okay, but when we're talking about money, okay, money always goes to the second decimal place. Okay, so right here, the four, we want our money to stop there. But we still need to look at that third number. We need to use that third number to help us round. Okay, remember five or more, we need to raise the score. So that's going to change our four to a five. And then everything in front stays the same, the two, the decimal, and the zero. So 20, this is 0.248. The eight rounds it up to 25. So this is 25 cents per slice. Okay, you guys are going to have to be careful with your rounding, okay? So make sure you underline that hundredths place or where the pennies are. Look next door. Five or more, raise the score. Four or less, we need to let it rest. All right, now let's come over here and compare the Velveeta. So we have $3.18 divided by 12. Type that into your calculator. $3.18 divided by 12. Okay, my calculator says 0 0.265, and we need to round it to the second decimal place. So look next door, five or more, we raise the score. Instead of 26, it's going to say 27, so 27 cents per slice. Okay, so this is our unit rate. Now, we need to make sure we answer the question, whose deal is better? Which one has the cheaper amount? So we have 25 cents per slice over here, 27 cents per slice over here. Over here, it's two cents more expensive for each slice. So the better buy is going to be, in this case, the Sargento. Okay, because it's two cents cheaper 
Now you might be like, Miss Waters, two cents cheaper, that's not that big of a deal. Well, maybe not for just one item, but think about if you saved two cents on every single item you bought on your grocery list. You're going to start to really add up and save a good bit. Now, and this isn't even just saving two cents. This is saving two cents really for like every slice you're saving some money there, okay? So that's a big deal. Um, so uh, you're saving a good bit uh, more than you think. And it adds up, especially when you're saving that on every single item in your cart. Okay. All right. So that's problem number one. Let's look at problem two. All right. Whose deal is better, Planet Fitness or Lifetime Fitness? In this case, we have $84 for three months. Money's going to go on top. So $84, three months. Okay, and on this side, we have $100 for four months. So to find out which one has the better deal, we need to find our unit rate. So type into your calculator, 84 divided by 3. You should get $28 per month. Okay, on this side, 100 divided by 4 gives you $25 per month. Ooh, I'm really bad at drawing sideways. Okay, so $25 is definitely going to be cheaper. Over here, 28, no, 25. So lifetime fitness has a better deal. All right, let's try another one. I want you guys to try to set up this one on your own. So pause the video and set up your um, rates and then find your unit rate. Play the video when you're ready to go over it. All right, over here we have $5.99 for 12 Cokes. Okay, over here we have $9.99 for 24 Cokes. We want to find out, well, how much does it cost for one Coke? So divide. Five ninety nine divided by twelve. My calculator said one. I'm going to write it up here so I can round it. One point three nine one two and a bunch of other things. Okay, let's take a look at that. The hundredths place hundredths place for the pennies. That's the nine. Okay, we want to round to that second decimal place. So look next door. Five or more, we raise the score. Four or less, we let it rest. So the nine is going to stay the same because the one is four or less. So everything in front, though, comes along for the ride. So $1.39 for one Coke. Okay, then for this one, what about how much would it cost for one Coke? So you're going to take $9.99 and divide it by 24. Okay, in this case... This is what my calculator said. We want to just pay attention to that second decimal place, this one, and then look next door, five or more. We raise the score so that one is going to become a two. Everything in front stays the same. Okay, so in this case, it's only 42 cents for a Coke. So definitely option two is going to be the better deal. All right, last one, go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. All right, now let's go over it together. So you should have 299 on the top, or sorry, 229 on the top, 
for one pound. Okay, and then over here we should have seven dollars and thirty-five cents for three pounds. Now, wait a second. How am I supposed to change this to a one if it already is a one? Well, guys, if it already gives you per pound, that's the unit rate. You don't have to divide anything. You're already done with that first one. Now let's focus on this one. It says $7.35 for three pounds. We do need to divide over here. So $7.35 divided by three. Okay, you should have gotten $2.45 for one pound. LB is abbreviation for pound. Okay, so whose deal is better, 229 or 245? Definitely the boar's head is going to be cheaper. Okay, all right, so now you are finished with your notes. Um, you can go back and listen to more of the video if you need to, but you are ready to start the next part of your learning path. So go ahead and click on the next um, step to complete your lesson for today.